Hello friends and welcome back to the Gamer Down. This is your host, Dark Hostess, for Artifact Hotspots, episode number six. Today we are in Moonshade Highlands. And one of the first places we're going to look is right by Three Springs here. And if you are a guardian, then you know exactly where it's at. And really easy to get to here at Moonshade Pools. And it's really easy to find. And you just, you know, go around the pools and go through the pools and look by the waterfalls. And, you know, the general locations for artifacts, you know, behind a tree. All those good things. And the mobs, they're... Uh, uh, just right at the level where they aggro you with your 50th level. If you're a lower lower level, you're going to want to be at least, uh, you know, 36, 37th level to mess around over here. Because that is the level of the mobs around here. But, as you can see, I can get pretty close without aggroing mobs. And uh, we all know the trick. If you have a pet. And if you're artifact hunting, you're going to want to have your pet around. And you send your pet in, go in and get the little artifact, then you just mount up and go on your way. And you can leave the monster unharmed, you know? You're doing a humanitarian effort here. And uh, that's how I do it, you know? That's how, I, that's how I get around all these heavily populated mob areas. And the respawn rate is fairly high and that's why I even recommend this place because the respawns are pretty pretty rapid uh, probably one of the highest respawn rates I've seen around Moonshade I scoured the lands I'm telling you it was hard finding these hot spots for this this one uh, the the spawn spawning in the uh, Moonshade seems a little bit off you know just I'm not sure what's up with that sometimes artifacts will just keep spawning and spawning and spawning and then other times, it just seems to take forever, like they're, I don't know, hung up or something. Which it could be, uh, you know, there's no telling. But, you know, as you see, I'm picking up artifacts all over Moonshade pools here. They're all over the place. Another area I'd like to show you is Barat's Ascent, which is north of uh, the Moonshade Pools and a little to the east of the Hammernail Fortress. And what I really like about this area is it's always really secluded and there's nobody here ever. And all you have to do is just go in circles, you know, just going around and around and around and you'll find artifacts spawning quite rapidly. I mean, it, it, this is one of the places I was kind of hitting on about the odd spawn rate. Sometimes this place is just continually spawning artifacts, just pumping them out right and left, you know. Everywhere you look, there's an artifact. Then other times, you're just riding around and not finding any. So, it's very, it's kind of strange. I, I've always had this theory that artifacts are judged by population in the area, just like mining nodes and mob density and all those things. Those things are judged by the uh, population of the people in the area and if there's a high level of uh, population they're gonna spawn invasions and things like that. But I also think that artifacts as well are also linked somehow. The reason I even say that you know is because I've hunted a lot of artifacts and from my experience the higher level zones you know where there's less population, the spawn rates seem to be a little low. But you go to, like, you know, the mid-level zones, the low-level zones, like Silverwood, you know, for the Guardian side, and it seems like they're uh, a lot more rapid. And if I look around, you know, it seems like there's quite a bit more people. And it's near the Sanctum as well, the capital. And I think that, I don't know, I don't know if it is just, you know, maybe me just making stuff up, but I have I was in the beta and all that, and it's just, you know, from my experience, this is what it seems like. That it could be all in my head. I don't know. And here we are. This is another really good spot to look as well. This area is known as Rockstrom Acres. And you'll find more artifacts than rocks, actually. And just go through all these fields here, 
there's quite a bit of mobs here. But you can get quite close if you are level 50. I mean, you see how close I can get to these guys. And I won't pull aggro until my pet decides to pull aggro, usually. It's usually my pet's fault. Yep, I don't know what's the deal with the pathing on these pets. But I would much rather have one around than not have one around when artifact hunting. Because they can just take the aggro and I can mount up and go on my little way here. And, you know, if you just are watching the video, not just listening to me, you'll see all these artifacts I'm getting all over the place in this field. And uh, I remember one day, uh, the one uh, day I was here, and there was an invasion, and it just, like, had cleared out all these fairies out of here. And it was, like, just sparkling with artifacts. And that's why I'd always kept this area in mind here. You know, this is one of the better areas, and I always check this place out. When I do come to Moonshade Highlands, I go to all these places I'm showing you. I'll spend a little time at the pools over there. Then I'll go to the, you know, Balrat's Ascent and spend a little time there. And then I'll come over here. That's just how I like to do it. You know, you might like to just spend all day at just one little area. And sometimes that's the best way to do it. Like such as uh, Iron Pines Peak. You know, if you watch that video, the best strategy for there is to just stay in the one that one little area you know there's no better area than that I know every server is different but on my server the moonshade artifacts sell like like pancakes man <laughs> they sell great you know and they sell for a very high price I think it's because you know, people just don't know about the hot spots, and you know they just pick up artifacts as they go. And there's not really a, a huge glut of them in the auction house like there are from some areas, you know. But I always sell them, and I always get a pretty good price for them too. And here I'm showing you on my map exactly where I'm at, so there's no question where Rock Strewn Acres is. And just go around, you know, these fields here. And uh, you see it's pretty close to the Defiant camp as well. So I did include an area, of course, for the Defiant. So it's kind of close to them. And so you don't have to start off all the way over at Three Springs. But yeah, it's a really good area. Really good area. Now the last area I will be showing you is Boundary Ruins, as you just saw on my map right there. And this is another fantastic area. And what is also kind of fantastic about it is the mobs are a little bit more spread out, so you can, you know, kind of navigate them a little bit. And there's a few hidden ones. And you see there's also somebody here hunting artifacts, you know, that always makes it tough filming these videos, you know. You got somebody sweeping in and taking the artifacts and, you know, kind of making it look bad. But I had to wait till they left. Anyhow, this area is really good. It's really, really good. And just uh, look around all those little pylon type things and always check that tent. And that tent's got a major spawn rate on it. And you're going to want to be about level 40 ish to get around here. It's best to be level 50. You know, I figure most people are busy leveling and really don't hunt artifacts until they're, you know, max level. I could be wrong. But there's one of those hidden mobs I was telling you about, so always keep your eyes peeled. They have a bad little stun on them, and it's pretty much forced to fight them. But, as you see, there's artifacts galore all over the place, and I still use my strategy of sending my pet in and mounting up in combat. I hope they never change that. If they change that, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to be very sad. That's one, one thing I'm going to be. But hopefully that people won't start bitching about that. I, I don't know who in their right mind would bitch about that. But, you know, people will bitch about everything. And they seem to take little cool things like that away from, you know, people. And I think it's more of a convenience than anything. And now that I have the area to myself, you can see that I'm getting a lot of artifacts. And now that my competition is gone... And, you know, uh, if there is competition, then just go on to the next Artifact Hotspot area. This, this is Episode 6, so you have 
six really good areas to go in six different zones and I'll have episode seven out in just a few days here. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go next. I think Gloomwood is probably going to be the next location. It might change. It might change. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking there because I've already been scouting that out for a while. And as you see, there's 30 more platinum in my pocket. It's one of my blue artifacts still. And I do my little celebration dance. Yes! So I'll see you next time for Artifact Hotspots.